Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you how to check out a few settings um, in your account or in your children's account. Now, you, if you've got a child that is on Facebook, you should um, be able to sign into their account. Um, you can get the, your child to help you do that. So once you're in there, we've got the home page and the profile page. So if you go to the home page, it comes up with all of your friends' um, feeds coming through. So um, you can go down and have a look at what all the um, friends are saying and stuff like that. And um, you can see if anyone's got any bad language or whatever. Now... What we're going to do is go to the profile page and that will show you exactly what um, you have been doing. Um, you're now friends with people. Here's your list of friends. So you can go through and see and go, oh, well, I don't like um, this friend here. So um, if you want to stay on Facebook, you've got to get rid of that person or whatever. Okay, so um, not like this is my account. But I do go through my daughter's account um, and she knows that because the deal is that um, if she's on Facebook, I need to be controlling it. Now, do not um, think that it is okay because it is a dangerous place, okay? Um, I'm all for the internet and make my living off the internet, but we do have to face these kind of things. Now, um, let's have a look at edit profile. Okay, so we can have a look at the profile here. Now, see how I haven't got um, current city filled in or hometown? Um, I've got my birthday there and it, I'm fine with that. But obviously, if it is your child, you might want to change a few things here. So um, it says here, show my birthday in the profile. Okay, so let's, you can just choose don't show. All right, so that's for just in case you've got your child and you don't want to show. Also here, show my sex in my profile. You can take that away if you like. Um, these are all little things that you can do. Um, you don't need to fill in the about me. Um, now, I would suggest that your children haven't got this filled in either. Right, so we can go on to profile picture. Now, profile picture does not have to be a picture of you. It can be a picture of a dog or anything like that, okay? So, I think that if your children are on Facebook, you don't need to show a nice, pretty picture of them, okay? Just, um, you can have anything you like. You can even have a picture that is edited in Photoshop and made into a cartoon or something like that. Um, you don't have to have a picture that people can identify you with. Okay, um, let's go down to friends and family. Now here, it'll say relationship status. Now I do not fill that in. Um, it is just pathetic unless you're single, of course, and you're looking for someone. Um, this is pretty childish. And I know that children use this. So, just make sure that your children are not using it. If you're, you know, if you're happy with that, then that's fine. Um, we've got the friends here. Um, we've got um, all sorts of things here. We've got relationships with families and stuff like that. You can do that if you like. Um, it happens. It just seems to happen because other people send you family requests. Um, we'll go on to the next section here. Now, as you can see, just once you get in here, you can change a few things. Let's just go to contact information. Okay, so I've got an email address in there. Um, the other thing is that I haven't got anything else and it is not necessary. So hopefully your children haven't got anything in there either. Right. Um, let's go up to account here and then go to privacy settings. This is another thing that we need to look at. Now, you need to go through all of these. So, um, at the moment, I've got custom settings, and I'm go which is here. And 
let's just press on this and I'll show you a few things. It lets you go through everything. Now, posts by me, it's set to everyone can see, right? So you can put just friends, friends only, or you can customise it even further, okay? Um, now, if you've got children on Facebook, I wouldn't want the whole world seeing the posts by them, okay? You would really need to set that to just friends only, not even friends of friends, okay? Because you have got no control over your children's friends and who they're friends of, okay? Um, so just go friends only because if you have got control over who your children's friends are, then this is a good option. Okay, so relationships, put only me, um, et cetera, et cetera. We can go down friends only for the birthday. It goes on and on. Now, all you have to do is send, um, change these options here and um, you'll be right, okay? So, and then you can go and preview my profile. Let's have a look. This is what other people see. Okay, so at the moment, they're seeing who my friends are and they're not seeing any of my things. Now, I can go back and make sure that they don't see who my friends are as well. To stop people from seeing your friends list, let's go back. I'll come back to this spot. Up here it says connecting on Facebook. So let's press on view settings. And here it says send all these different things here. Okay, see your friends list. Okay, let's, it's got everyone. So let's go friends only or we can customise it, okay? Right, so we've done that. Now let's go back and see what it says. Preview my profile. There we go. My list of friends is gone because I do not want people to see who are my friends. All right, let's go back to the privacy settings. Okay, now we'll go back to customise because I just want to show you one more thing. Now, as you can see, you just need to go in here and go through everything. Here's another one. Include me in people here now after I check in. Now, you should disable that for children because it shows. Let's, let's press on it. See an example. Okay. Um, it shows where you are. It's basically following you. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. So just say I'm in Brisbane at the moment, it would come up and show that, all right? So we can disable that, just tick that and it's not enabled. Okay, let's go down. There's another thing down here. Contact information, my email address. Let's choose. I have written only me. I've customised it um, because I know that um, I'm friends with a lot of internet marketers and they want to sell to me. So I don't want them to get my email address. Okay. Um, and that's it. All right. Now, um, of course, there are heaps more here. I changed this one here. Photos and videos you are tagged in. Edit the settings. Okay. Now, I've got um, people that can see me at, is only the friends when I get tagged. Now, the thing is, you can just go and customise that as well. So just say people are posting photos on the internet of you that you don't like, okay? Um, now, this happens with teenagers. So you can go in to customise the settings and um, let's do it. And go here and just go only me, okay? Okay? So when you're tagged in a photo, it does not spread all over and show everyone, okay? And you can also hide the pictures from certain people. You can type their names in here and whoever's on your list will be coming up 
and you can choose them from there. Right. All right. Let's go back. Save settings. Okay. Um, that's just a few things that you can do. All right. Thanks for watching.